Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Now, Hassan Joho, who was the former governor of Mombasa County, has come out very clear to quit ODM party. Remember, Raila Amorodinga was the party leader of ODM party. Joho and Wycliffe Oparanya were the deputy party leader of ODM. As far as the sources are so concerned, we are told that Joho has come out very clear to resign as a deputy party leader of ODM party. Recently, I've seen Joho not associating himself when it comes to the issues of Azimio, when it comes to the issues of ODM party. He has just not, um, he has ensured that he, when it comes to the plans of demonstration and protest, when it comes to the recently meetings of Raila Odinga, when it comes to so close to ODM party, Joho has uh, distanced himself with this so-called ODM party and Azimio. In this video, I want us to look the reason, the main reason, why Joho has just suddenly decided to resign as a deputy party leader of ODM party and not to associate with Azimio or opposition leadership. According to the sources, we are told that South Sudan pushes William Samoruto, who is the president of the Republic of Kenya, to use Joho farm in SGR contract. According to this article, we are being told that the South Sudan government has forced President William Samoeruto administration to back a firm associated with the family of former Mombasa governor, that is Ali Hassan Joho, to handle cargo destined for the neighboring country from the Mombasa port via the standard gauge railway. Juba pushed Kenya to support the lucrative deal that has been out port freight terminals limited handle all south sudan imports at its nairobi freight terminal this is part of uh, the deal that saw kenya reverse a september order that restricted the clearance of cargo and related operations to the port of mombasa and from the ministry has informed kenyan Kenya Ports Authority, that is KPA, and Kenya Railways that Airport Freight Terminals Limited will continue to be the handle of South Sudan cargo, according to the letter seen by the Business Daily. Outport is associated with the Joho. That is what I want you to understand. That Outport Company is associated with the Joho's family and was at one time a target of the government over alleged tax evasion by the government of Uhuru Kenyatta. And you saw it very clear when there was a fight between Joho in the period of the regime of Uhuru Kenyatta while Joho was the governor of Mombasa County. And the man behind the farm, of course, you know, is the former Governor Hassan Joho, elder brother, Abu Joho. And the South Sudan deal was thrust into the spotlight after the Supreme Court upheld Dr. Ruto's victory in the August 9th presidential election against Raila Amuru Odinga. One thing that I have realized, 
Joho does not want to have wrangles with this government. The main reason why he has just decided to resign is that to ensure that as long as the company that is associated with his family will not have wrangles or brushing shoulders with the government of William Samuruto is to ensure that he must not associate himself with so-called Azimio. Number two, he must not associate himself with so-called ODM party. Number three, he must not be seen advocating when it comes to the issues of demonstration and protest. Despite of Raila Murudinga being defeated as long as Chibukati is so concerned. So what I have realized is that Ali Hassan Joho, once his fam, uh, family company, that is the output, associating with this um, contract with SGR to continue the way has been suggested with the Sudan's uh, government, because this family of Joho has been in this business for a long period of time. And the company is well known with his business. So Joho doesn't want this government to uh, fight him or himself to fight the government. So to ensure that the family is going to operate their business peacefully and smoothly, he must resign from ODM, he must resign from Azimio, he must not be seen in um, meetings planning demonstration and protest. He must not be seen in active when it comes to the opposition as far as we are concerned. So for him, he must bow to this government or else ruthless William Samaruto might decide, even despite of South Sudan suggesting that the company that was uh, given the uh, tender or contract to continue, William Ruto might decide to give another company because it is not the only company of Joe that can do this. There are a lot of companies and even these leaders are having. So that is the reason and the main reason why Hassan Joe has decided now he is out of the politics. He wants the break and he wants to make money. And remember, that company is bringing billions of money, around 4 billion to 10 billion yeah. So you can see that range of the business. So that is the reason and my opinion. Ladies and gentlemen, what are your opinion? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.